All right, everybody, this is Trent with Soundlink TV, hanging out here at Blue Edge, Rocks with, Blue Edge Rock Fest with POD. How you doing, man? Doing good, man. Doing real good. All right, so, uh, you know, we were just kind of like talking off camera about the COVID stuff and all that. So, like, what's it been like for you guys in the last year or so, not being able to play and and all that stuff with, with uh, what's been going on and everything in the music industry? That's been rough. It's been, it's, been, it's been, in some ways, good and in some ways bad. Bad because we're a touring band, you know, we're yeah. a working band. So it's hard for us to be off and not actually be able to get together and play and do what we've been doing for years. The good part about it though, man, is I've had time to spend a lot of time with family, man. Yeah. You know, can reconnect and stuff like that. So, you know, in 2019, we did like about 250 dates. So we were gone a lot. So it was good to actually be home and just kind of, like I said, reconnect. Yeah, that's one thing I've heard, so, you know, just uh, in passing from bands, you know, talking is like, it's the longest they've been home. And and a good part of that is that they've been able to see their family and stuff yep. and kids, you know, for the longest time. But at the same time though, they're not, you know, making that money on the road, you know, so. yeah. So even for a band like you guys who are very established and stuff, you know, it, it, that still hits and everything. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. And not only that, the guy, the four guys in the band are like my brothers, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So not seeing them for that long a period of time was kind of, you know, it's was, it was rough. All right, did you guys get any creative during that period, or what did you guys yeah, do man, musically? Yeah, we man, we've been in and out of the studio as much as we can. I mean, you know, I actually live in Nashville, so it's like um, it's been a little bit more difficult because the guys will get together and they'll send me music, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And it's like we kind of just kind of been working it like that, but... You know, uh, we, we've been being creative, man. All right. You know. Yeah, so... Uh, we got some stuff coming. Awesome. Yeah, so you guys are, are on tour right now with All Good Things. We talked to them a little bit earlier. Yeah. Um, so getting ready for a big festival like this, you guys are playing satellites and everything, but, like, you guys are also doing, like, a regular tour. So how are you guys prepping for, you know, each one differently and everything? Well, yeah, definitely differently. Um, you know, the tour that we're on is basically the satellite 20-year anniversary of, mm -hmm. you know, the record. So, um We've been playing that album front to back, you know, but when we do like festivals, a lot of times we've still done that, but we incorporated some of the songs in with it and just kind of, you know, mixed it up a little bit. Yeah. You know, sometimes the sets are shorter too. So, you know, on our set we're doing um, for our, <clears throat> our tour, it's like an hour, 20, hour, 30 minutes. But for the festivals, you know, sometimes they're shorter, like hour, maybe hour, 10, hour, 15. Yeah. So. yeah. All right. So it is the 20th anniversary of Satellites. Um, I'm, I'm going to age you guys here. I'm, I'm, I'm 31. I first heard uh, Youth of a Nation when I was like in middle school or something. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, you know, the, the fact that record is still impacting people 20 years later, whether it be older people like, like me or, you know, younger kids in, who are in middle school or high school, you know, finding you guys, you know, what is that, you know, what do you, what do you take from that? The fact, the impact that this uh, record has and did you guys... A wanted to make an impact like that, or and or B did you guys expect it or hope it would have a lasting impact like this? I mean, I think you never really know, man. As a mus musician, I mean, art is so um, subjective, and it's like you don't know how people are really going to react to your music. Yeah. I mean, I think every artist hopes that they put something out that makes a difference in people's lives, or it impacts people either emotionally or just they listen to the song, and there's this feeling that comes from it. But um. I think, you know, for us being together as long as we've been together, for our music still to make a difference in you know, people's life is, 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 is amazing, man. It's awesome. Yeah. What it, you know, so. Yeah. What is it about that record do you think kind of like sticks out to people to to put it to where, put it, where it is? You guys have had, made several records and, you know, amazing yeah. songs that have touched people. So what do you think it, it is about this one that makes it stand out? Like this is the 20 years of this record that, yeah. you know, has just impacted people. What do you think it is about that one in particular? Well, man, um... You know, you, if, I, you, sure you know this, but um, the satellite came out. It came out September 11th. Oh yeah, the yeah. The World Trade Centers went down, so our release was on that day. So I think um, the music on that record, you know, we didn't know that stuff was going to happen, but we've always written music that's kind of uplifting or just you know, um, just you know, good vibes, good energy. So yeah. I think even with the stuff that's going on, went on then, where I think America through that situation as as a country, we came together as one people yeah you know during a pretty traumatic time you know in our country's history i think right now we're kind of in that same area where things have gotten so crazy in the world and america especially that i think this is a time you know that i think it pulls people together yeah you know we're one people one nation one country all different colors shapes sizes everything we're all americans dude and we're all you know together in this whole thing so yeah i think that's what it's about man i think the music that we wrote then had an impact then when America was going through a really, you know, traumatic time. And I think we're in a place right now where I think our music kind of gives people hope and it's uplifting as well. Yeah, it's kind of relevant then, relevant now kind yep. of thing. Yep. Yeah, so do you guys, uh, because it is the 20 years and stuff, you know, sadly of that day and uh, 
give your record and everything. Do you guys, um, are you guys planning to do anything sort of special on, on Saturday? Well, Saturday, people are going to see this after after that date, but like, you know, this weekend, you know, marks that mark that date too at this festival. So even though you guys aren't here, are you guys planning on anything special for that particular night, wherever you guys are? Well, you know, um, we really haven't talked about it, man. You know, we, it's, 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 everything is just so surreal right now. You're yeah. Just being on a road, period. So, um, you know, we're just trying to, like you're doing right now, trying to keep everybody safe and stuff yeah. like that. And I, you know, do too much, man. But I think as a group, you know, we kept our shell pretty small. Yeah. So we're in with each other. But everybody, you know, we'll probably do something, I'm sure. Okay. Awesome. You know, September 11th, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of celebrations all over the place. So that was, again, a pretty traumatic time for our country. Yeah, I saw on, there's a Facebook group for the fans here, and they were talking about uh, some some flag-raising ceremony at the yeah. festival and stuff that day. That, yeah, man. So that was all. Yeah. I think that was all fan-organized, and the founder actually made it That's a festival awesome, thing. Man. So yeah, That's so, awesome that he did, and he didn't yeah. get bullied into not doing it. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, so shout out to you, Jonathan, <laughs> if you're you happen to see this. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, so, um, you know, after this tour and stuff, what do you guys have planned for the rest of 2021? You know, God willing, shows don't shut down. Everything doesn't shut down again. So, uh, what yeah, do you guys I mean, have? That's, uh, that's where we're at, dude. Yeah. Um, I think uh, for us, man, I think it's kind of a regroup and um, finish writing a record. I mean, we're working on new music. So, uh, you know, um, by the time 2022, 2023 comes around, we'll have some new material out. But I think it really, we're just going to probably dig in the studio and just finish writing, you know, what we started. Yeah, so uh, you know. where, where do you see POD in 20 years, you know, 20 years from now? <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's, uh, we've already done like 20-something, you know, going on 29 years this year. So, I mean, if I, will I be playing 29, 20 years from now doing the same thing? I don't know. You don't know? I mean, you could. Hope, hope, you know, hopefully making a difference in people's lives, man, to give yeah. people inspiration and, you know, allowing people to be courageous and bold, man, and just not be afraid. Yeah. You know, so, and just, I don't know, just be positive positive light man in a dark place hopefully yeah so i got a little fun one here you know it's kind of like based around the younger bands here playing you know you know genres come and go times come and go and you know you're seeing like if you want to people like calling things different things you know so like there's been like a new metal resurgence recently stuff kind of like taking that rap rock style and bringing it into like the modern metal stuff so what do you, what do you make of like you know a style you guys were playing years ago you know becoming like part of the mainstream of metal again you know it's weird to me man and <laughs> When we were doing our thing, everybody played their own instruments, man. Oh. I mean, it's, I mean I'm not trying to dog, but just like, we just, I mean, we played to some tracks, maybe, but it's yeah. like, when I see bands get up now, dude, and it's like, they're playing the Pro Tools tracks, it's just weird for it's me. Like so it's like one guitar and three guitar parts or something. Yeah, three guitar parts. I mean, I don't know, call it what you want to call it, man. I don't know if I call this a new metal research, just because it's not. Yeah. You know, I think of bands like Korn and some of the bands, Deftones, that we grew up listening to. Mm -hmm. Those guys were all players, man. I mean, yeah. it's like they got up, there's four dudes, five dudes on stage with their, in, with their instruments, and that was it. Yeah. You know, a band like Linkin Park came around, and they kind of they did a lot of the... the um, you know, DJing back, back, and yeah, yeah. DJing and stuff like that. But those dudes were playing, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? They had a lot of stuff. We were on tour with those guys, so I saw what they did, and you know, nothing seems new anymore, man. Everybody yeah. Just everybody is repeating something that's already been done. So. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just just, just generation, man. It's cool. Yeah. It's what it is. But rap, metal and rock and roll to me, and this genres are about instruments, yeah. guitars, sing. I mean, just the band, you know, uh, environment. You know what yeah. I mean? The bank, the bank connection. So yeah, awesome. It's different, man. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for your time today. Hey, man, thank you. Looking forward to see you guys later, and you guys right be on, safe uh, with whatever you guys got going on for the rest of the year touring and all that. Nice. All right, cool. I'm Trenton with Sound Lake TV, hanging out with POD. Thanks for watching.